So the next part is putting the uh, middle assembly together. We have all our bearings and stuff in. And I just went ahead and put the coupling nut in this spacer and then put a small eighth inch screw through there and tightened it up. Again, you don't want to tighten it too tight um, if, to the point where you break the piece. But grab your longest bolt, there's only one of them. Stick it through the small hole in the center. Insert this over top. I don't think, okay, it does matter which way it goes. Um, there's a little lip on this top. Um, part and that has to go up. So insert that. The larger hole right here is for your threaded rod just to run through. Uh, same with these, the larger hole, the threaded rods through. Um, the smaller one is the one you want to put over top of the bolt and you want this small tab going down on this piece. And it should line up, this little lip on that coupling nut holder um, should line up the edge there. Same with the other one except this large tab would be facing down. Stick that into place. All right. Yeah, it's pretty much. You have to fiddle with it a little bit, but basically this hole should line up with here. This hole should line up with there, and everything should line up um, with all the large holes facing each other for the threaded rod to run through. And then you're going to need your other spacer. Put the small hole over the bolt. You're going to need your um, other upper assembly. You just want to put it on like this. Be that on. Looks good there. Grab a lock nut to hold everything together. Just get it started for right now. Grab your wrenches. And that is your center assembly completed. Um, it's very rigid, no movement whatsoever. That's basically the middle assembly, and we can move on to the next part now. Alright, center assembly's done. I uh, did forget to mention there is a little lip on the other spacer. Make sure you put that facing towards the center, or facing down in this case. And you'll need your four um, bolts, four lock nuts, and four bearings. Next, I have three here. And basically, there's a hole that runs the whole way through here, like that, and you'll want to put your bearing in the center there. And complete it for the other two.